Hi everyone, this is my morning after the night before makeover. Okay, on to the next step. I'm going to use um, some under eye concealer. I'm going to use the Benefit Eye Bright, which is part of this little kit that I've got here, which I'm also going to use under my eyebrows. And I'm just going to look in the mirror and see exactly where I am dark. I'm just going to pat that on. You can use fingers actually, it's just as good if you don't have brushes for it. And just put it exactly where you need it. Don't put it underneath the area where you're dark because what it'll do, it'll lighten up that area and lighten up the shadows and they'll just cancel each other out and you won't look any, any better. A little bit of the corners there. You can see straight away, if you get it in the right place, i.e. just where you're dark, it should just instantly lift how your eye looks. I'm going to use the other eye as well. Just right in that area. And if you're clumsy and you tend to put too much of everything on, brushes are good. Because they help you to be a little bit more precise. Don't ever go overboard with these types of products. You end up looking quite spooky you much lighter underneath the eyes, look a bit alien. Just enough to lift. Okay, now I'm going to use concealer. If you don't need to use concealer, don't. But if you do have any blemishes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. And I'm just going to use it where I've got a couple of unwanted guests around my chin. Namely, that one there. And a couple of dark spots. As this is just going to be an everyday makeup, you don't need to spend too much time on this. Just get yourself evened up a little bit and you need to get out the door. Okay, I'm also going to use some cream blusher and this is Pink Lemonade by e.l.f. Cream blusher is fantastic if your skin's feeling dehydrated. It feels very nurturing and soothing and also it'll really pep your skin up because unlike powder foundations which sometimes they do sit on the skin a little bit a cream blusher, if it's po properly blended in, will look completely natural. It'll look as if you're blushing from within. So you've got the nice, healthy glow, which is the opposite of how you're feeling, but that's the whole point of makeup. <laughs> Next, onto the eyes. I think that after a big night out, the last thing you want to do is spend time trying to blend eyeshadows on. So I like to use cream eyeshadows. I'm going to use Groundwork MAC, which is a really nice um, sort of mid brownie colour. Look for something that is close to your natural skin tone, but just maybe slightly lifts it. And what this will do, it'll just cover any redness. It'll give you a bit of definition without being too heavy and also it feels very nice because it's creamy and don't worry too much about how you put it on just pop it on with fingers you can blend off the edges as you go along this one doesn't really have any shimmer in it, it has a tiny bit um, sometimes it's nice to use ones with a little bit of shimmer in as well if you just lighten up your whole eye area I think that one works quite well for me because it's only a fraction different to the natural colour anyway on my lids. Another one which is quite nice is number seven's Eye Mousse in Vanilla. This one has more of a shimmer, it's a little bit paler, but you can always just put a little bit in the corners there and it'll just give you a nice wide-eyed look. Eye makeup for the morning after is all about looking wide-eyed, bright and eyes wide open. So we don't want to use any dark cold pencils or anything too heavy that's going to make the eyes look even smaller than they're feeling. So that little bit of light in the corner really lifts them. Now you can use this underneath as well if you want to. You can go along and just um, line them 
if you need a bit more. But again, it's not really going to look like makeup, it's just going to look very natural. Okay, I'm going to use for the eyelashes, I'm going to use eyelash curlers. These are essential if you've had a night out, unless you're lucky enough to have very curly eyelashes. I'm not, mine are completely straight and when I curl my eyelashes it makes not only my eyes look completely wide awake but it makes me feel wide awake if you can see the difference there it just instantly lifts them onto mascara I'm using um, Max Volume Flash by Rimmel a nice black mascara that gives you volume you don't want anything that's going to look overly done you want it to look quite natural so I'm just going to add a little bit of volume again just really helping to make my eyes look wide awake and I don't want too much I had a lot on last night and I'm over it I want it just to look fresh and comb through as well we don't want any clumps this is all about fresh, wide-eyed, natural-looking makeup. Under the eye, I'm just going to put a tiny bit too. That'll help to give my eyes a nice round and open look. That's plenty. Now, eyebrows, I don't think you can have time. If you've got time, you can always put a little bit of powder in them. Or if they're pretty good, just leave them. The main thing is getting your skin to look good. Next, I'm gonna do something a bit sneaky. I'm gonna use a Laura Mercier concealer pencil, and this is fair. It's way too light for my skin, but I always keep this, and this is my secret weapon against red eyes. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inner rim there. Now, you can often buy these white pencils, I think they look really artificial and they don't make your eyes look any wider or brighter, they just look odd. Whereas a touch of a flesh coloured pencil, I'm just going to blend that in, you want it to look natural. That just gets rid of any redness you've got, especially right in the corners there can get quite red. And now to the lips. I've used the lip moisturiser earlier on and that, my lips are now feeling really good. Well moisturised, most of it's sunk in which is good and all those raggedy bits have gone. I'm going to use a little bit of lip liner, this is number seven's nude. You don't need to, if you haven't got time, don't, you can skip this step but I'm just going to give myself a little touch around the edges there and a little bit onto the lips. Don't use too much because if your lips are feeling dry anyway, pencil's not going to feel great. But a little bit of lip definition I think really helps to bring a face to life. I'm going to finish off with Benefit Lip Gloss and this is in Freshly Squeezed. I'm choosing this because it's a nice natural colour and also it tastes of grapefruit. So when you pop it onto your lips you get quite a hit of um, a lovely vibrant scent which is making me feel a whole lot better don't overload you want it to look natural it's quite it's not too shiny this product so it doesn't look gloopy it's more about looking moisturized and I think that's it I think that is the way to do morning after makeup it looks very dewy and fresh and not like you've got too much makeup on it just looks like you've slept well and your skin's in great condition and that's what you really need i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope you found it helpful